Hello! So, this is my first blog, vlog, video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is my first one. It has been um, a lot of back and forth uh, for me on which medium I was going to choose to get my message out. Um, I have been on uh, quite the journey for the past couple of years uh, trying to just put the pieces of my life I, I can't even say back together because <laughs> I don't know if they were ever together in the first place um, but to, to put them together and uh, to live a happy healthy authentic life um, and a year ago I took this course to become a health coach and to start helping people and working with people um, you know having started the process of transforming my life decided that I wanted to help others um, living living a life of service um, in in you know, assisting people to, to be the best version of themselves is something that I've always been drawn to, but um, never gave myself enough credit to go after. I never felt like I had enough to give or I was enough, right? And in the past year and through this journey, you know, I'm really uh feeling grounded in myself and and ready to, to put myself out there um but i you know i'm still coming up against a lot of fear and a lot of resistance even with the decision on which medium to use to get my message out to the world right so um video seemed like a natural uh, selection for me however it still brought up a lot of resistance because it is putting a lot more of myself out into the world through uh, through blogging through writing there's still a little bit of animosity or um, you know it's very edited it's very refined um, so the, the message is um, is very polished by the time it, it gets out there. Whereas with, with video and, um, you know, what I'm doing now, it's a lot more free flowing. And, um, you know, I, I'm not the type, I mean, if I was going to write a script, <laughs> I'd just do a blog. Uh, so I, I like the free flow, uh, flowing aspect of, of this. And, and I kind of enjoy being able to, to talk to you uh, this way but it's intimidating and it brought up a lot of fear for me and I was resisting it for, for the last few months anyways you know I'm like I'll just start with a blog I'll do it that way and and then we'll see how it goes from there you know I'll get a little momentum and then I'll start putting my myself out there well that was actually creating a lot of stress for me and I didn't realize until I made the decision to do a, a video um, that I was holding on to it. I was clenching my jaw for two months just, just because I hate writing. I don't enjoy it. And I was watching a video the the other night and it was talking about authenticity and you know if, if there's resistance in what you're doing that's going to come across in whatever medium you choose so if I'm not enjoying writing <laughs> that's going to come out in what I'm putting out in the world it it's not going to be it's not going to hold the same passion and enthusiasm as as being able to to, to talk to you this way. So, um, so I'm just gonna do it. I, here I am. I mean, this is my third take, who knows? 
maybe my last take. Maybe the first of a lot. Hopefully it'll get easier as I go. Um, hopefully, you know, the more I do it, either the less I will try to control and just allow whatever is coming up to just come out and not edit and just put it out or I'll be able to refine the message before I sit down and it it'll just flow a lot easier who knows we shall see um, just like anything this is a journey this is the beginning of the process uh, and and I'm really excited about it yes there's still a lot of fear and I, it'll it'll probably take you know a while for me to actually upload it um, but I'm going to I will upload this video and I will make my debut as a uh, as a vlogger and hopefully I can stay pretty consistent um, with getting these out I don't know right now how um, how often I'll be able to, to do these. Um, I'm hoping right now one every two weeks is kind of what I'm looking at. Um, and then probably bump that up hopefully in the new year to, to once a week, um, which is kind of my plan. Who knows? Maybe I'll start doing one daily. Uh, maybe I'll really enjoy it. But, uh, but for now, I'm gonna really um, work on getting one out every couple weeks. So, in, you know, making the commitment to, to put out a video, um, I was like, okay, so first video, what, what am I gonna talk about? Um, other than making the decision to put a video out. Uh, and you know, I just was thinking like, what am I dealing with right now? What, what is bringing up a lot of stress or um, resistance, I guess, for me right now? Uh, and um, one of the things is the holidays. It is almost Christmas. It's right around the corner. We're December 3rd today. And <laughs> with the holidays comes a lot of stress. Uh, I mean, there is monetary um, obligations all of a sudden that um, are put on us. I mean, if you're anything like me, I have, a f well, I've, got a, I've got a daughter, so obviously <laughs> there's a lot of gifts that need to be purchased for her. Um, I have three family members that decided that you know, end of November, early December was a great time to be born. And so have to buy birthday presents for them. Um, and then there's the dinners and the parties and, you know, the dresses for the Christmas party, um, making food for, for dinner. So so there's a lot of, of added expenses um, around this time. Oh, and then, you know, to, to top it all off, I went in to change my tires and I was like, yes, for once, all I have to do is swap my tires. That's it, $90, done. No, no. I get there and, um, <laughs> I can't even tell you what the piece was. It was a piece on the axle, it was loose, and it was uh, causing my front wheel to shake. Um, which it was, I did, I did feel that, and uh, it was something on my list of, of things to look into. Of course, I waited too long. Um, <laughs> and I uh, had to get it fixed, so $400 later, not budgeted for. Um, yeah, had to had to replace that. So some things um, 
you know, I'm, I'm trying to implement this year. I mean, I, I do, I try to get some Christmas shopping done a few months in advance. Best intentions every year. I'm still, I still every year end up being a last minute shopper. Doesn't matter. I have started doing it online, a lot of it, which makes my life a lot easier. Uh, not having to fight the crowds, um, not having to find time when I don't have my daughter with me. Um, so, so online shopping has, has made that a little less stressful. Um, but really, you know, setting out a, a budget at the beginning of the season um, to know what you're going to spend, who you have to buy a gift for. Put that down right away. Um, what parties you're invited to, um, where you're going to be required to, to bring food, where you're going to be required to dine out in drinks. Um, so how much you want to spend on, on everybody. Uh, there are some great apps uh, that you can download on, on your phone um, to, to help you with with budgets, um, you know, do it the old fashioned pen and paper. Um, but just putting awareness around what you're spending. At the end of the season, <laughs> come January, you're gonna be so much better off. You know, if, if something's not in your budget, you're more apt to say no than if you don't have a budget, right? So, so that is, is kind of some recommendations, um, some things that I'm trying to do this year uh, just to, to help uh, get through the holidays with a little less debt than normal. We shall see. Um, another big thing, and a big thing for me this year especially, is around food. Um, I have a lot of dietary restrictions. Um, something that I've been working on uh, through through my course and, and just through you know trying to get healthier is um, is cleaning up my diet and cleaning up my digestive system. Um, and through the process have, um, discovered that there are 45 foods that I'm intolerant to. That's a lot. Um, thank God I had kind of gone through the process of, of t taking out a lot of that um, processed foods and, and that kind of stuff prior to this discovery. So, you know, I was, I was eating very clean before. Um, but it, it, it is a challenge. And so the holidays is bringing up a lot of stress for me. You know, how, what am I gonna eat? Um, how am I gonna avoid all of the wonderful, amazing sweets that come with this holiday season, right? Uh, you know, sugar's a big one. Sugar's one that I try my hardest to avoid. Um, not always perfect at it. Um, have found a couple little um, tactics to, to help, but uh, ultimately, you know, th that's gonna be probably the the hardest for me um, is is around the sweets. I I love me my sweets and my sugar cookies oh and apple pie and mm. so um some things that um that I'm gonna do uh you know if I've if I'm going to uh, a family member's for for dinner um and it's potluck you know make sure that I and bringing an option that obviously I can eat, um, maybe that, and may maybe something uh, like a dessert that I can eat, so that I'll opt for that. I'll still get that uh, that sweetness. I'll still get that sh you know kind of attend to that sugar craving. 
um, but not resort to eating the full on white refined sugar deliciousness <laughs> that, that is sure to be there, right? Um, so, so that's one thing. That's one thing I'm gonna um, try to do. Um, if I'm going out for dinner with friends, uh, which seems to happen a lot around the holidays, <clears throat> planning ahead, looking up the restaurant, looking at the menu, and um, you know, kind of figuring out what you can eat that falls within your diet. Um, and then, you know, just just being educated being aware, planning ahead, and then ultimately, I mean, just have, being easy on yourself, going easy on yourself. You know, if you slip up and you eat that cookie, don't hold the guilt for days, because that's worse than, than eating the cookie. Just let it go. It is Christmas and it is meant to be enjoyed, and food is one of those p pleasures that you know, it is meant to be enjoyed, so let it go. Um, don't don't hang on to it. Um, just just do the best that you can, and know that you're doing the best that you can. Um, but ultimately, you know, just just try to enjoy the holidays. Um, I, I think. For, for everything, for for money, for food, for, for time. Um, you know, we get so worked up and we get so stressed out and there's not enough time and I've got to do this and I've got to be here and I've got to see these people and that, that person and, you know, that person's going to be mad if I don't make it to that party or, or, or whatever. Learn when to say no. And whatever you do decide to do, just try to be as present as possible and try to enjoy it as much as possible. And just remember what the season is about. It's not about the gifts. It's not about um, the parties or the clothes, the dress that you wear. It's about friends. It's about family. It's a magical time of year. And I'm realizing again, you know, just through the eyes of my beautiful, amazing five-year-old daughter, how magical this time really is. How I've forgotten, you know, just that feeling. Oh, I, you know, when I was a kid, when I was her age, I was just in awe. Like, I still remember the feeling of just Santa's coming and Christmas and family and so much excitement, um, the Christmas carols and, and, and everything. And, you know, just, just take those moments. Um, if you have kids, you know, just sit with them and, and s try and see the world through their eyes again. And if you don't, just try to remember that feeling. And, and when you're around your friends and around your family just let go of all of the other stuff and just live in that moment and breathe in that pine scent and and listen to those you know carols that bring you back to your childhood and just enjoy because you know what before you know it it's all going to be over and we're going to be into January <laughs> and it's going to be snowy and cold and miserable and we're going to wish for Christmas. We're going to wish for the summer. Um, so, you know, just let go of all, all the stress as much as you can and just, just lean into the season. Anyways, I, uh, I really hope that, uh, that you enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned for more. There, I will um, hopefully in a couple weeks um, put out another one of these. I uh, would love to hear your feedback. Would love to hear you know um, some things that you're doing maybe to to help you get through the holiday season. Um, maybe some tips or tricks or suggestions or 
Um, anyways, any any feedback uh, is, is is welcome. Anyways, I uh, I just want to thank you for watching and uh, much love. Mwah. Thank you.